I'm Jonathan, and this is Tiger News for June 1st, 2021. Go Tigers! Hey Tigers, happy Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed a nice long weekend and you're ready for the last week of school. Can you believe it? It's been a heck of a year, but we've almost made it. Let's have a great four days this week. I do want to let you guys know a couple of things. First, I want to give a big thank you again to the students and to the staffs and the families that all participated in our eighth grade end of the year drive through celebration. Thank you guys for coming. It was amazing to see your faces. So many of you that I've known for so long. Um, we can't wait to continue to have some fun this week and celebrate you guys, especially on Thursday with some fun activities. Thank you guys again. And thank you families and staff for your commitment to that evening and to all the years here with our eighth graders at IMS. Also wanna let you know, um, we have set up a vaccination clinic. We have worked with our district and um, Indio Middle School will be hosting a vaccine, COVID vaccine clinic on June 3rd from 12 to three as well as on June 24th from 12 to three. So here are a little bit more about it on Tiger News as well. But in case anyone in your family or anyone ages 12 and up is interested in getting a vaccine, you can do it right here at Indio Middle School on those dates. Students have a wonderful week. And as always, remember, Tigers Roar. Class, class. Vaccine clinics will be taking place at local DSUSD schools for the next two weeks. Please see the calendar for exact times and locations for each clinic. The Indio Middle School Summer Academic Challenge is on. For each activity you complete, you earn 10 points. Add up those points to earn Tiger tickets and buy some super cool school swag from the Safari Store. You can pick up a packet with Mrs. Hudson or you can complete this challenge digitally by joining the Google Classroom. Good luck, Tigers. iReady winners are in. For iReady reading growth, the winner is Jesus Gomez. For iReady math growth, the winner is Joanna Castillo. Congratulations to both of you. You've won a Boomers pack. For $5 gift cards, Anthony Juarez is the iReady reading winner and Isaiah Zavala is the iReady math winner. Congratulations to all. Please reach out to Mrs. Hartman to claim your prize. Future freshman girls, if you're interested in soccer at IHS, please contact Coach Nicasio, Coach Alcorn, or Team Captain Dahlia for more information. Conditioning will begin over the summer. Hi, Tigers. I'm here to tell you about two big ticket raffles. You guys can enter one or both of these raffles and you can get a private movie screening with you and 20 of your friends and or family and or you can get into the second raffle to be the principal for a day. You guys got to enter now because this doesn't last that long. And, all, and as always remember, Tiger's Roar. Soon to be 7th and 8th grade Tigers, please complete your course requests for next year as soon as possible. If we don't receive your course requests, we'll place you into whatever electives are available. Right now, future 8th graders have a slight 4% lead over the future 7th graders. Let's see if those future 7th graders can close that gap and get to 100% first. Ms. V has some great news for everyone. This year, you will not need to return any Chromebooks or text materials to the library. Those workbooks you checked out do not need to be returned. Chromebooks, you're keeping them over the summer. And eighth graders, you'll be taking yours with you to the high school. If by chance you have a library book or hardback social studies textbook from last year, do check that back in. If you have any questions or just wanna make sure you don't have to bring anything back, you can stop by the library, email Ms. B, or call the school and ask to speak to the librarian. Our newest club, Tigers on Watch, is looking for members. Join the club, watch, review, read, and comment on videos. Club meetings are every Wednesday at 11.40 a.m. Email Mrs. Mazze for the link. Class, class.
All of us here at the Tiger News would like to wish Mrs. Tovar a very happy birthday. She celebrated last Thursday. Happy birthday, Mrs. Tovar. Now let's head into the art gallery to look at some of our students' amazing pieces. Well, we did it, everybody, and we did it really quickly on Thursday morning after the news aired. We have hit a thousand subs on our IMS media channel. So here's how it's going to work. You will have all day today, once the news ends, to vote on which staff member you want to receive that extra ice bucket. And you have nine staff members to choose from. Well, 10, because two are competing as a team. You could choose from Ms. Campoa, Mr. Sexton, Ms. Gick, Mrs. Hartman, Mr. Vialta, Mrs. Tovar, Mr. Kemmerer, Ms. Sanchez, and Mrs. Skogan, or myself, Mr. Cohagan. Again, you'll get to vote until the end of today. Missy Lane is the only person who's going to know how this thing is going to end up. On Friday morning, she will, with help, go and get that teacher out of class with their on-campus students so that they can receive that ice bucket in front of witnesses. Best of luck to all of us and. Maybe not so much good luck uh, now that I think about it. I'm Jonathan Hartman, and we are in the jungle with Miss Balin. Miss Balin, this is the final round. Do you think you can survive the jungle? I hope you've got my crown ready, because I'm ready to be queen of the jungle. Okay. Very confident. Let's get awesome. started. Under which president would that the Department of Home Security created? Reagan. Who's the oldest Kardashian sister? Kim. Yiddish is a mixture of what two languages? What is Yiddish? Uh, Hebrew and Israeli. But Hebrew is Israeli. What is the name of the treaty that ended World War I? Pass. Who was the first president to receive the Nobel Prize? Kennedy. You got. Oh, zero. What? Got oh, zero. No. Got zero. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Miss Balin has given Mr. Newcomb an opportunity to survive the jungle. Can he do it? Shout out to Isaiah Zavala from Mrs. Tovar's homeroom. He had the greatest growth on the iReady reading diagnostic, improving four grade levels. As the winner, he got to pick Miss Angie's hair color. Nicely done, Isaiah. As we leave you, we'd like to remind you to pause, take a breath, and remember. The best way to capture moments is to pay attention. That's all the Tiger News we have for you today. Remember, be responsible. Take ownership, act safely, and be respectful. For Tiger News, I'm Jonathan Hartman. Have a terrific Tuesday. And remember, Tigers roar.